Hello everyone. Welcome to NPTEL course on groundwater hydrology and management. This is week 10, lecture 3. In this week, we have been focusing on collecting groundwater data for assessing the aquifer properties. In the previous classes, we looked at the different um, uh, data that is required to understand the physical properties. And we saw that the government has done very in-depth analysis in certain states like Tamil Nadu. And Tamil Nadu's data tells there is some characterization of the aquifer. Similarly, other states have been populated and slowly the entire country data would be put on the WRIS website. So please log in often and check for updates. Okay. So in today's lecture, we will be going through <coughs> the WRIS ground data. As I explained earlier, ground data can come from different sources, especially on this website from Central Groundwater Board, which is under the Government of India. And there is state government budgets that have been put for groundwater monitoring, which is the state data. So there is central owned data and then state owned data. All these data are now shared in the WRIS website. You can click and choose which ones you want <coughs> for understanding because maybe some state uh, water data is collected at multiple intervals. So you could have better access to it. Okay. Then you have uh, the data properties we looked at is station name, trends, long-term average. We will go through this today also to look at specific data and how do we uh, look at the long-term average um, and then uh, short-term average, etc. So individual wells we will look at and download. Okay, I will not show you the uh, tables that I do with Excel or any other software because many of you may not have these softwares, for example. So all I will show you is how to download and then making the graphs, etc. is you could uh, learn from graphing techniques. Basically the same graph you see on the screen can be reproduced by these maps. Okay, by these data that we're going to collect. <coughs> so let's start with showcasing the central groundwater boards data. We will pick one location uh, and then we will look at how the wells have been um, looking at, let's say Maharashtra will take, and then we'll compare it to some regions in Rajasthan to see why the groundwater levels are declining. So what actually is measured, we will tell, okay? So let me share my uh, screen. Um, okay, so we are on the home page again. <laughs> As I said, go to water data and then groundwater level click it and based on the um, time it takes uh, you will see how the populated the area is populating okay it, it will take some time just give it for the internet to pick it up okay there it is <coughs> excuse me so in the last class we looked at <coughs> we looked at where this uh, water levels are declining and increasing for the whole of india as i said uh, we can look at the uh, one location so how did i pull the map up and down is by left click your mouse and then move hold on to the left click and then move the whole picture will move you can zoom in zoom out go to the last view okay or zoom to area you can say I can draw a box and then zoom to this area. The last view was India whole I had, so I can go to the last or the new view. <clears throat> I can zoom in by uh, putting plus and zoom out by putting negative. So these are the basics and some details about the data, mobile apps, etc. is given. 
Okay, so for example, I drew a box and that's where uh, the, uh, I can take the box off. And then I'll say I need, um, you can also use a scroll button from your mouse to move out and in. Okay, so here's where I am. I'm going to look at a particular well, uh, where let's pick one from here. And uh, I'm going to see just central non-order board data for first, okay. It is a monthly or seasonal, let's keep monthly. And then I'm going to use the same uh, default time. Okay, let's say Jan 2022. Let's go a, a bit further. So I'm clicking the calendar. I'm clicking the year, not the month. Click the year and then you can have a various uh, months. Go to 2012, for example, and Jan. So I'm going to take nine years of data. So depending on your internet, just we are practicing. So you can take uh, what you would like. Okay. So I'm going to click uh, Maharashtra to, to, to populate Maharashtra. You can see Maharashtra is now populated. Okay. <clears throat> I have to click not in the center also, but on the line, then you can come this one. And then you have uh, for October, the, the default thing will come. So you can see all these. Okay, so what you could see is uh, the levels of Maharashtra uh, are improving slightly uh, and then coming back down in this one year, that 2018 default. I haven't clicked this yet. So once I click it, you'll see the entire India now doing the map. Okay, and then you can pick your specific location. I'll show you how to do it. Okay, we have taken this out. So as, as I said, the entire India from 2012 to 2021, it is almost same. Uh, it is average. The trend is not down or up. Almost it is same. It does go really down, which means the pumping has increased. The groundwater level has fallen. I love to draw this so that you could see what I'm um, looking at. Okay, so this is your ground level. So this GL, ground level and meters below ground level. Okay, so this is your well. And what is happening is the water level goes down and then up, down, up, down, up. Okay, so it is almost stabilizing here. You could, you could see what has happened in this part is the water level has gone a little bit down, but it has come up again. So this, this is the top surface. So the water level has come down, but it's gone up again. Okay, which is which means uh, it is okay. The the aquifer is not stressed uh, of the whole of India. So how many wells are there uh, in CGWB? Thirty-two thousand six seventy-eight. I've been telling fifty thousand, fifteen thousand. That includes the wells that are operative. See, total number of stations can be thirty-two. How much you can access is within fifteen thousand range. Um, and also some data are not there. I'll show you uh, the things. So the graph is now based on this value, which is uh, 15,000, approximately 15,000 wells. So 15,000 wells average is taken here. All this is running behind the uh, servers and cloud space. So you don't have to worry that is it going to take my computer time or my computer processing limit. All you have to have is a good internet to get this data. Okay, so moving on, uh, we'll also see <coughs> that the average level is nine meters below the ground uh, and it goes up and down. So nine is still uh, deep, uh, you know, compared to the locations. Okay, so now you could see that I have it uh, for whole of India. You can pull down this slider. You can see the slider. Oh, if you want, I could put my uh, spotlight. So this slider, I'm saying this slider, you can bring down to see the states. Okay, and there is another slider here to see the data. Let's show you here. So you can pull this down to see the data. So the multiple sliders within the frame. You have to be careful which ones you choose. Okay. So on overall, nine meters is the water level for India in that period, and we had 15,000 wells analyzed for it. Now, what we have to do is we have to look at how much um, <clears throat> wells are there for Maharashtra. So, I'm going to put a search here just for the state Maha 
Rashtra, it comes up and it says number 22. When you go to number 22, it doesn't open, but you can go here, the pointer changes to a finger. And that is what you want. You can click it and see now it zooms into the Maharashtra state and the data for which I ran the analysis is there. So I didn't have to do anything, just select the Maharashtra state. How do you know the Maharashtra state has been selected? You can see from the top, I'll come here, India, Maharashtra. If I click India, it will go back to the India view. And now I'm in Maharashtra. How many wells? 1,644 wells have been put here for analysis out of 2,500 wells. Okay. And the level is six meters. So in India, it was nine meters depleted. For Maharashtra, it is six meters depleted, which means Maharashtra is doing better than the overall average uh, India size. Now you can move this, it's fine. You can move and do, but still, as long as this is saying Maharashtra, you are still in the Maharashtra page. Okay, I'm going to remove the rainfall. <coughs> the rainfall is given by IMD. I'll come to those data later. Uh, and you can see the current level fluctuating up and down in almost stabilizing at six mark. So six is the average across and then it goes above six and below six. You remember the well diagram I draw? So it goes above and below the six level. In Maharashtra, there's many states. So that uh, districts, sorry, districts, and these districts are given here. How many districts are there? At least the data. You can pull down this slider and pull down this slider. So you have 36 total, uh, 35 uh, districts total, uh, and then the uh, row column, right? And each uh, district uh, has its own number of stations. So let's say uh, Tane is known. So let's uh, click Tane or uh, let me check Jalgovan because I know Jalgovan is a little bit uh, drier. Yeah, Jalgovan is there, 51. Uh, let's click Jalgovan. Okay, now it's turning. See, six meters for entire Maharashtra. Now I'm going to click Jalgovan. It goes to Jalgovan. The screen goes to Jalgovan. And what you could see here is, I have to pull this up and then go up 11 meters. So as I said, 11 meters depletion in Jalgovan and within Jalgovan there are blocks. There are one block, two blocks, etc. And each block has its own different, um, uh, you know, readings. Okay, so there are 51 stations analyzed out of 88. And the overall trend is at lower 11. It is still fluctuating along 11, but it is much lower than the India average, which is nine, uh, and also the Maharashtra average, which is six. Now we have come to one district, Jalgovan. Uh, and then let's say this one. Uh, I want to look at uh, this, and this is the source, CGWB. If I did all sources, then all the sources will come, uh, and it will tell me if it is central groundwater board or the state data. So I'm going to click Abora and that is the well. So when I click the station name, it goes to the well and stops. And now it populates the data. So what do you find in this data? It is not full. Okay, which means I said start in January 2012, you can see here and then go to January 2021. It starts in January 2012, but then it doesn't go beyond 2014. So this is one such station where the data is not there. It is started well, okay, uh, and there's no rainfall data, so the rainfall doesn't uh, pick up, but there is no other data. So this is where you need to be careful in downloading only the data that you have full term. What is the point, for example, if you want to understand 10 years of data, groundwater depletion, what are you going to do with just using five data points? You need more, right? So that is where uh, I'm trying to get at. You need to take five years of data, okay, at least in a 10 year period. And since this doesn't qualify, we can go back. How do you go back, come down? you don't see any back button. So be very careful in pressing the back button. What I would uh, uh, recommend is go up and click Maharashtra again. So this blue color will turn, the hand will turn into a finger. The pointer will turn into a finger and that means you can click. So if I click Maharashtra, now the entire Maharashtra comes up. Okay, so see now it's populating the entire Maharashtra, all the data is back. 
so this is how you could zoom into particular wells particular districts and then look at where which wells are there okay uh, oh we could have gone back to the um, um, you know just the district itself but okay that's fine we'll we'll go back to the another we'll pick another district okay let's pick a district where the water level is down so that we can uh, look at let's uh, take Parbani. Okay, so Parbani district is a very uh, highly uh, agricultural uh, district. Uh, you, you see a lot of sugarcane uh, growing there and it's populating now, Parbani. So when this blue box comes, please give it time. Uh, but sometimes it goes long time. So just stop it and then go to an, another one, okay? Maybe the data is getting stuck somewhere, so it's okay. And always these kind of things, you can come back and then uh, select, it will still work. And this blue line has to go, but it's not going. So as I think, maybe it's stuck, okay? It's okay. Let's click another uh, uh, district. If it doesn't work, just click Submit again. Let's see if it populates. So while it's populating, I'll also say that you have multiple other uh, extent and layers that we can uh, use to reduce the internet, um, uh, you know, um, downloading data. All these are downloading a lot of data, okay? So since it's getting stuck, let me refresh this page. I'm going to reload. You can see this button. You just click that. It will reload. So now we'll know if it is an issue with the entire uh, WRIS data system or just the uh, Maharashtra one we looked at. So while it's populating, um, I would like to stress that uh, please first use Central Groundwater Board data uh, because it has a longer time frame of data. Okay, uh, and also try to uh, be consistent with uh, which station you are using because uh, each station has its own uh, data uh, issues, right? Uh, there might be a full data term for the study period or very less. Uh, and when you download it, you will know that it is not a continuous data. What you saw was a line, right? You saw a line like this for the data that it doesn't mean that you have a data here, 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 along the line. No, it's only at some points, some points along the data, there is line, uh, there is uh, along the line, there is data, and that is being connected through this software. So you have to be careful in using this software. Okay, so uh, now it's working. It took some time for uh, bringing back the screen. Okay, so let's uh, select uh, another state and then uh, click on uh, where we want to go. Okay, so I'm going to click India back. And then under India, I'm going to take, I'm just going to use one uh, less uh, data set so that we can quickly uh, download the data. I'm clicking Maharashtra. I'm clicking Parbani. You can see how many total stations are there and the source, okay? Uh, and you could say that here there is no well record. So you need to come to uh, a well record which has the data. So it looks like none of this has the data for this period. That's fine. We can go back to another um, data set go to Maharashtra again. I'm just using one year uh, data to because of the internet uh, uh, and the web page which is creating an issue. So let's say Mumbai. Okay, in Mumbai, <coughs> this is the Mumbai area and you have Church Gate, for example, and that is the location of the station. So now what I wanted to show you is if you come down in the um, uh, website, you could see that 
the name of the station is given as uh, Mumbai uh, Bombay Church Gate. It is a so CGWB. Uh, where which basin, which river basin is it uh, located in? This is located in the west flowing rivers from Tapi Tandri uh, basin. The state is Maharashtra, and this is the lat long. So those who know the GIS and GPS coordinates, this is where the exact location of the well is on the planet. So every uh, inch of the planet has a GPS GIS location. It is called lat long, latitude and longitude. Um, so that gives you the exact location of your well. So if you're going to use a mod flow groundwater model or a GIS map, you need to know exactly where it is located. And that is where this number helps. And this is the average level, 1.68 meters. So below 1.68 meters, you have groundwater. It is good groundwater in quantity. Why? Because it is very shallow. Within a meter you dig, you get water out. However, because it's next to the ocean uh, or the salt water bodies, you can get some water coming in, right? The CU salt water coming in, so the taste may not be as good. But we won't get into that aspect. We are only looking at quantity in this class. So now I have this data for this period. Uh, and I can also select here, I could go different uh, seasons, or I could say I want a date from two, okay? So right now, because of the uh, website actually causing some issues when we download large data, I'm just going to show the principle to collect one data. So one data, one well. Okay. So you can click here. It will ask again, are you government professional academic? So since I am an academician, I'm a professor, I'll put my name. Okay. And my email ID. Submit. It starts to download. It will ask you where to download it. I'll put it on my desktop and then I will show to you how to open it and use it. Okay. Okay. It's downloaded. Um, it's just taking a little bit more time. I think the website is having some issues. Uh, but again, this is how you could download one data. Let's uh, try one more time uh, doing the longer time period. Okay. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to say all agencies. Okay. CGW. Let's say CGWB for now. It changes. Okay, and then start and date, I will give uh, 2018, Jan, 2021, submit. So for India, it has repopulated again. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to say Maharashtra. I'm clicking Maharashtra, it's zooming in. And you could see that the rainfall is fluctuating, fine. And as the rainfall fluctuates, the current level from 2018 to 2021 also fluctuates. And I'm going to select a district. You can say Mumbai. Okay, there are, there are in the district, there are five stations and all the five station average is pulled up. You can actually download all the five stations. You can click here, it'll download all the stations together or you can select which stations you want. So if you look at here, you have uh, some stations at level one meters below the ground. See, it's asking where to uh, uh, download it. I'm going to download it on my uh, desktop. I just put it here in my downloads. And then it is downloaded. So I will just click to show you how it looks like for all the districts. <coughs> okay. So I've, I've collected how many districts now? Uh, seven districts within Mumbai. I'm sorry, seven stations within Mumbai urban. So the district name is Mumbai. And within Mumbai, I have selected uh, seven districts. It will ask this question. Uh, are you trusting the source? You will have to say yes, because um, it is a government data we hope there is no virus. So you just say yes, open the file now. And you can see the levels. Okay, this is the average level for each and every 
each and every station for the time period. So it says Thursday, I took it. It doesn't tell you what is the time period of the data. It is up to you. You have to make note of this details. Okay. So coming back, <coughs> let it populate while we work on this one. Uh, and then if you click the Bombay church, for example, then it goes to that station. Now you can download the individual uh, uh, data for that period. You can click. It stores again. Now it says groundwater station, Mumbai church gate. You can click save. I'll open it. It says, yes, do you want to open the file? Yeah. So you have this lat long where the location of the well is and the average for that period from 2018 to 2021, I have the average. So this is how you build a groundwater data set by clicking on each and every well you want, take the locations and the average well reading. Okay. You can also download this data, which is your time series of data. What you downloaded here is just the location data. But if you want the time series, you can click on the time series. It will ask, do you want a PDF or CSV, which is your Excel, say Excel. And it will save as CSV file. I'll open it. Now you could see for Mumbai church gate from 2018 to 2021, the monthly uh, or whenever they took Jan, May, August, November, Jan, May, August, November. So all the data has been taken. The last 10 years data has been given. Uh, and this is also there. All the units are meters below ground level. Okay. Last year is also meters below ground level. This is also. So you have the last year's data, current data. And so whatever you select here, whatever you select on the web page will be shown. I didn't put rainfall, so rainfall is not on the list. Okay. So in the next class, we will look at two uh, different uh, scenarios using the uh, data from the uh, groundwater board. And then we will try to see how the resources are estimated. So I've clearly shown you an example of how to zoom into a, a, a state, zoom into a district, and then you can come down and check the number of wells, and then you select a well. After you select a well, then you could look at the data as a time series. You can download the data as an Excel or an image. You can click here, an image can also come. You can also make uh, the uh, as a chart line, okay, or a column, if you want a column and you can make it big, small, however you want. Uh, you, can, you can play with all these. So all these tools are always being updated by the WRIS site. So with this, I would like to stop today's class uh please uh, uh spend time on this website to download the data and every time the method would change a little bit but uh, the idea is same you will get the location of the entire india with the average then you can zoom into the district you can zoom into the particular uh, state and then district and then within the district you can look at how many you have okay how many um wells you have not all wells are recording and all wells uh, do not have the full time record of the data. There are some issues. So you select which data you can and then use it for your study. With this, I will stop today's class. I will see you in the next class. Thank you.